everybody and welcome back to um, Friday's maths lesson. So today we are going to get started and we're going to be comparing volume. Now yesterday we calculated volume and we looked at it in the form of a word problem. Now today we're actually going to compare them. So when we talk about comparing numbers or comparing um, things, we talk about the similarities and the differences and we talk about which is larger, which is smaller and what's the difference between the two. And we're going to do exactly that today when we look at the volume of cubes and cuboids. So I have got two cuboids on the board, shape A and shape B they're called. So shape A has got the following measurements and shape B has got these measurements. So there's two things that we need to do today. We need to compare them and then we need to calculate the difference between them. And I'll just do, um, explain both of those as we go. So first things first, in order to actually compare them, we need to compare the volume, sorry. We need to calculate the volume, don't we? So we know that the volume, and if you don't remember this, make a record of it, is length times height times width, or length times width times height, whichever. So I need to multiply these to find out the volume. So I know that seven times five is 35, and therefore times by 10 is 350 centimetres cubed. I think I actually used that example yesterday, you know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And then for this one, we need to do six times seven times by eight, or in any order. I know that six times seven is 42, and 42 times by eight. So I can partition that. Eight times 40, well, eight times four is eight, 16, 24, 32. So eight times 40 is 320, and eight times two is 16. So 320 plus 16 gives me um, 336 centimetres cubed, okay? So now I've calculated the volume, however I need to compare. So the comparing can mean two different things. First of all, I need to know which is the largest and which is the smallest. That's ultimately what we do when we compare numbers. So which is larger, 350 centimetres cubed or 336 centimetres cubed? So 350 or 336. Well done, shape A is the largest. So therefore, if I had to put a symbol in between these two to show that this one is the largest, would I have... Let me do it in green so it stands out. This symbol, this symbol, or this? Which symbol, if I had to put one in this box, if I'm comparing these two, which symbol would go in that box? Are they the same? Are they equal? 350 and 336. They're not equal, so it must not be that one. Um, let's have a look at this one. This one, remember the arrow points to the smallest number, it's at the smallest side. So this means that the number in front is larger than the number after it. 350 is larger than 336, it is, isn't it? So therefore, my um, sign is larger than. Shape A is larger than shape B. 350 is larger than 336, correct. So that's why it must be that symbol. So when we talk about comparison, ultimately we talk about larger than, less than, or the same as, okay? However, sometimes you might then be asked to um, calculate the difference. So we know that when we calculate the difference between two numbers, we do the largest number take away the smallest number. So we know that 350 is the largest, take away 336. So you can work that out and you would then get the difference. Quickly work it out. Good, so the difference would be 14 centimetres cubed, okay? The difference between shape A and shape B is 14 centimetres cubed. So those are the two things that we have done when comparing uh, the volume of cubes and cuboids. And those are the two things that you need to remember in order to complete this one and then to complete your work today. Now, the example I've done on the board is exactly the same as this. However, it's just got different numbers and it's just in word form. OK, so try not to worry too much about it. So let's actually have a look 
look at this together, we'll read it and then I want you guys to do it. Shape A has the following measurements. The length is five centimetres, the width is two centimetres and the height is four centimetres. If you feel like you want to draw this to help you, then you can. So shape A, quickly try and draw it. Shape A, the length is five, the width is two, and the height is, oh, I've got that the wrong way around, four. Okay? Then shape B has the following measurements. The length is three centimetres, the width is four centimetres, and the height is only two centimetres. Which is the largest? And what is the difference between shape A and shape B? Okay, so let's have a look. Which has got the greatest volume, shape A or shape B? So we need to now decide how to calculate the volume. And we know we do length times width times height. So let's do that. Five times two is 10, times by four is 40 centimetres cubed. So shape A has a volume of 40 centimetres cubed. So let's now have a look at shape B. And we need to times the length by width by height. 3 times by 4 is 12. 12 times by 2 or double 12 is 24 centimetres cubed. So you can see all I've done is exactly what I've done here just to calculate the volume of the two shapes. Then I need to move on and find which is the largest, 40 or 24? Well, we know that 40 is larger than 24, so the largest is shape A, okay? And then finally, what is the difference between shape A and shape B's volume? Well, we know to calculate the difference, we do the largest take away the smallest, 40 centimetres cubed take away 24 centimetres cubed, gives me the answer 16 centimetres cubed. Now I've just realised I've done it for you and I was meant to ask you to pause the video and do it yourselves. But it doesn't matter because you've got lots of examples below that you are going to work through and they are similar to this and this, okay? So if it asks you to compare them and find which is the largest, you are going to need to know your less than, greater than or equal symbols. And then some of you have got then further questions based on the comparison of volume, okay? So the main thing to start with is to calculate the volume of the shapes, then to compare them, okay? Don't just estimate, oh, that's got eight, so it must be, you know, smaller than this one because it's got a 10. Make sure you calculate the volume, all right? Uh, good luck with your learning today, everybody.